The Principle of Least Action, Nature's Guiding Law. Welcome to today's video, where we'll explore one of the most profound and elegant principles in physics, the principle of least action. This concept lies at the heart of modern physics, influencing how we understand everything from the motion of planets to quantum mechanics. Let's dive in. What is the principle of least action? At its core, the principle of least action states that the path taken by a system between two states is the one that minimizes or extremizes a quantity called action. This principle provides a unifying framework for understanding the laws of nature. In simpler terms, imagine throwing a ball. While it might seem like it travels in a random arc, the ball's trajectory is actually the one that optimizes its motion according to this principle. What is action? Action, denoted by the letter S, is a mathematical quantity that depends on the system's motion. For classical mechanics, it is defined as S equals integral from T1 to T2, L, D, T. Here, L is the Lagrangian, which is the difference between kinetic energy, T, and potential energy, V, L equals T minus V. The integral sums up the Lagrangian over the time interval to, giving us the action. The principle states that the actual path taken by the system minimizes, or sometimes maximizes or makes stationary, this action. The principle of least action has roots in the work of ancient philosophers like Aristotle, but was formalized in the 18th century by mathematicians like Pierre-Louis Maupertuis and Leonhard Euler. Later, Joseph Louis Lagrange and William Rowan Hamilton expanded it into the powerful tools we use today, like the Lagrangian and Hamiltonian formulations of mechanics. Applications in Physics 1 Classical Mechanics In classical mechanics, the principle explains why objects move the way they do. For example, a planet orbiting the sun follows a path that minimizes the action, leading to Kepler's laws of planetary motion. 2. Optics. A similar idea appears in Fermat's principle, where light takes the path of least time, which is a precursor to the principle of least action in wave optics. 3. Quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, Richard Feynman showed that particles take all possible paths, but the paths close to the least action contribute the most to the probability of an event. This concept is key to the path integral formulation of quantum mechanics. 4. General Relativity Even Einstein's theory of gravity can be described using an action principle, where space-time curvature minimizes the Einstein-Hilbert action. Why is it so important? The principle of least action isn't just a convenient mathematical trick. It reflects something deep about the universe. It's a compact way of describing physical laws and provides insights across different fields of science. It also helps us simplify complex systems and solve problems more efficiently. Moreover, it emphasizes a sense of economy in nature, where physical systems tend to follow paths of efficiency. This principle transcends disciplines, appearing in biology, economics, and even artificial intelligence. Conclusion The principle of least action is a cornerstone of theoretical physics, offering a unified and elegant framework to describe the universe. From the motion of a falling apple to the mysteries of quantum particles, this principle helps us see the profound harmony in nature's design. If you found this explanation intriguing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of science and physics. Let us know in the comments how you'd like us to expand on this topic. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.